Hi, welcome to Floyd Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Friday the 1st of July 2016 and today has been absolutely manic and it started like this. Good morning, welcome to Floyd Models Daily Vlog. Here we are. So basically this is my last full day uh, to get everything done. So I've got an amazing amount of work to do. I'm still editing videos. This is the stuff for you next week. Uh, this is the gun deck. I'm just about to start it. I trimmed it into the various sections you can see down here and then from there it turns into the big jigsaw puzzle that you see when I'm editing and that's with the different camera angles and everything else because we have three audio feeds, four camera feeds uh, and then obviously we have to chop it all in. So this one at the moment in a clip state uh, we've gone down from two hours down to 45 minutes and then I might be able to refine it down to about half an hour so we can get that one done. That will be up with you maybe in the morning. I don't know, I might make it all live tonight because in the morning it's going to be running around absolute chaos as you can imagine when you're going away. Uh, so I need to get that one done for you. I might be able to squeeze in another review. If I can, I can do it for that SU9U, uh, which I'd like to do, because then that sort of brings us all up to speed exactly where we would normally be anyway after next week uh, and everything else like that. So yeah, big old rush. Uh, and then, to be honest, I've got to, well, sort out the packing, the bits and pieces. I've got to take the dogs to the kennel. I've got to mow the lawn, otherwise when we come back, it's gonna be like, hey, okay, and all the other bits. And I've got to do the new show at the end of all this and talk to you guys as well. So today it's gonna to be absolutely flat out, busy, busy day. So I'm gonna get on with the editing, okay, get that completed, we can get that up to YouTube so it's sat there ready in state. I'm gonna get it onto the main site as soon as it's rendered and done with that. Whilst that's doing, I'm gonna do the next review for you guys. We can do that one. Unfortunately, it's sat there doing, and it's either gonna be a review or we do the prop uh, for the actual 190. I would love to have done it, but I think it's gonna be a rush. I'm gonna be looking at the clock and I'm not gonna be able to concentrate on just doing it. And um, because it is doing the speed in a bit, I want to take my time and show you exactly how you put the swirl pattern in to mask it uh, and all the bits and pieces like that. So I don't really want to sort of put myself right, you've got two hours to do it, uh, and then obviously make a hash of it, start to rush it and it go wrong, and then end up thinking, stuff it, we'll prime it and go again, and I haven't got anything then to show you guys. So I'm probably going to go with a review, we'll get that one sorted and we can get that one up for you. Anyway, I'm going to get on the editing, get that one going, then we do the review, okay, do those, okay, get the review edited, then I'm thinking, kennel with a dog, get the and talk into the kennels and everything else come back sort the rest of this out get the site done get it locked down as well then i've got to do the orders forgot about the orders we've got an amazing amount of orders thank you to everybody i will get everybody's order out i had two little mistakes with them short shipped on sanders i think it was where you ordered like four and only sent one and things like that so i will get those sorted out for you as well apologies for that uh, and i'll make sure that all the emails are done and everything else so we're all sorted so the time is now five past eight time to get on now we're going to move on to the actual gun section. Now this is one of those areas that's going to make the entire top end of that with the engine, with this behind it, really pop and come alive. So actually what we've got is the breath and set again. Okay, so that's the editing done. Uh, it's now coming up for 20 to 10. It's rendering now. It's kind of saying it's going to take an hour and seven minutes to do that. Then we can get that uploaded. Um, I'll grab the screenshots off of that one uh, and away we go. So actually, that actually worked better than I thought. One thing I was going to share with you, which I'm not going to be yabbing on today, um, I'm just about to do uh, this guy. Okay, is what I love about this. Now, this is, sorry about the camera in the face. Um, here we have all the areas done now. Um, this is the first time, I'll be honest with you, I've actually done it this way. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the camera's gonna play ball. So we've got the cockpit done. Obviously that was, uh, you know, a real joy, no problem. We got the HEW uh, harness sets in there. The engine, which to be honest, is still my sort of favorite. Um, it just came out so very, very well, no problem at all. The gear, really love doing those, no problem. Again, fantastic. And first time I worked with the bronze, so that was lovely. Photo etch, again, I used um, slightly different techniques that perhaps I would normally do uh, for doing the photo etch with the flaps and all the rest of it. And normally, I would probably avoid that like the plague. That's not my idea of fun, doing flaps and stuff like that, but there again. And then obviously we've got the gun deck. So the gun deck itself, you should probably find a, a decent angle to look at it, um, has turned out very, very well. I am very, very happy with how that is. And I think the great thing about doing it this way, 
or definitely from my point of view, is that treating each of these like it's a mini model, you know, and I know a lot of people have said, and I have to agree, <laughs> it'd be nice to have this guy as a standalone model almost on its own because there's so much detail and, and bits in there. Luckily for us that the FW190 actually lends itself quite well to this because it all opens up. You can see under it, you can see down into it, you can see in it from the sides. It's not like some aircraft where you really have to give them a full strip back to see all the engine in there. Okay, this one with the doors open, you can still see everything them okay so it's quite a nice touch like that but it's been nice to do this type of thing where we've got everything um, and treated it as separate that way I can sort of dedicate more time to it I can show you exactly how I do it start to finish really warts and all because I don't know what it actually works out at now but it, it's got to be uh, I'm just trying to do it in my head roughly work this out so it's probably uh, would be over uh, what are we now? Uh, one, two, three, four, six. There's probably about six hours worth of video just concentrating on that. When you think of that as six hours of video, technically that's 12 parts of a normal build. And you think, some of them, okay, we've gone up to 20 parts, but we've never focused so much attention onto individual areas you know we've never done an engine start to finish warts and all we've never done the flap system we've never done the gear we've never done the cockpit yes we've all shown them in a build but it's always been you know one two three ten and we're done okay so it shows you in a rough way it was really nice to be able to spend a little bit of time and to go in here and do all these parts and show them really much warts and all exactly how I go about it but also you know I've done it the quickest way as well don't think I've done like this this is the long drawn out version this is the quickest way I would do a cockpit but so obviously you can go on further you can do more detailing you can have more cables you can do this you can do that you can do whatever you want to to make it your model at the end of the day and that's the the great thing about the hobby is that it is your model at the end of the day so you can really do what you like okay to it to bring it up to your standard so you can do less you can do more whatever you want to do okay but i've really enjoyed doing these so literally we have the prop section still to go so we've got this over here we've got the props the spinner cap going to show you on the spinner and then once that's done when we get back off of holiday um it will be a case of just bringing it all together which to be honest won't take too much because these are the slow bits that are going to slow us down the only thing is is obviously about re-riveting it now i was going to use the raised riveting sets but more and more people are telling me don't go near them they're horrible they don't work um, they're just more you know it's, it's just not worth the time and effort to put into them so we are going to hand re-rivet them with Rosie the Riveter because obviously we've never used those before so we're going to do a whole thing all about riveting as well and then rescribing in panel lines as it's needed and all the bits and pieces like that so there's still plenty more to come with this super build for the summer uh, as I say this is our super build for 2016 with everything in and it's turning into quite a corker my only problem if I'm honest with you, is that I'm feeling, you know, literally I would like to be in a situation of getting straight on when I get back with the Japanese stuff. But I won't. I'm going to finish this guy off, obviously working through very methodically in there. But as I said, once we've got the spinner done, and then we're going to talk about obviously putting it all together, cutting things open to make this stuff all fit. And then it's going to be about re-riveting it. Painting it and stuff like that is normally where we focus a lot of our attention. It's actually going to be an afterthought to this, but we're still going to cover it in detail. But I do want to do the Chieftain, as I say, having had the privilege of driving one of these things, I'd love to have a model as one as well. So we are going to do the Mark 10, the Berlin one, and I'm going to push through with that one. Going to get some aftermarket tracks, I think, for it. I don't think the tracks are up to much cop, so I'm going to look at some aftermarket tracks because I've never done aftermarket tracks with that one. Then, once those two are completely out of the way, I will be starting on my group build entry. So I'm probably going to go in with the Gundam to start off with, so we're going to go in with that. Then, obviously, we've got that uh, F1 uh, Mitsubishi as well to do as well, so I'm really looking forward to that one. So, as all of that's doing, I think what I'm going to do is your orders now. So I'm going to get on with those and do those up to date whilst I'm just waiting for that to do for an hour. Get that one sorted. As soon as they're done and the computer's clear and all the rest of it, then we're going to do the next review, uh, which will be this guy. There's not much to it, but it's something a little bit different. If you haven't seen it before, this is the new Trumpeter's SU9U. Being a U designation means it's two-seater trainer. Something a little bit different from one of the early jets and all the rest of it. So, you know, as I say, it deserves its place. And it'd be nice to do it in the old metal finishes. I've got a real thing for doing metal finishes at the moment. So uh, watch this space. Got some very nice things coming up in the near future about those. So I'm going to do a few orders, get those done. As soon as that's finished, we're going to get in with that review. Do that one. I can get that edited uh, and put up and everything else like that. And then it's going to be a case of post-run, kennel still to do mow the lawn, pack, shut the site down, and then do the, obviously the new show for tonight. And then that's it.
That's it, I'm finished. No more, for one week, I'll be off. There we go. Right, I'm gonna catch you all later on, guys. Hello, welcome to Roy Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Trumpeter's new 148 scale. Uh, this is the SU9U. Okay, so this is actually the two seat version because it has the new designation. Okay, so what a morning. God, nightmare. Right, why is it, no matter how fast you do anything, it does tend to be everything that happens at the last minute. So, okay, that's the dog. Literally, I've just come back from dropping the dog off. Uh, Mel's taking the orders down, uh, doing that. Literally, she drives off right now. So that's all those done. So if anybody's placed an order with Flory Models uh, for anything uh, since, well, uh, any time, they've all gone. Uh, also, the ones where, um, unfortunately, it's my fault totally, I short-shipped orders. Um, it wasn't deliberate, it was in two orders. Uh, and I missed off a sand pack of sanders in one uh, and a set of sanders in another where you'd order two and three. Uh, so those have gone out as well. So it should be technically up to date. Okay, no problem at all. I know there's a small problem. I don't, I don't know why, because what happens is uh, when the orders are checked off, um, specifically for the members that I can speak for and vouch for, is that it says to me, it sent you an email saying it's now been dispatched. But a lot of you say, has it been dispatched? But it technically you've had it, so I don't know if it's actually doing it or not. Anyway, I am technically up to date. Everything is up and done. Uh, the Batmobile is actually up on Facebook and it's on the site main site now and everything else like that. And YouTube, it's all live. That's for, up there for the review. I've still got to do the editing for this guy, even though it's done. Uh, even though it's a terrible kit uh, and everything else like that. It did have the post arrive though, I have to say, and looks what's turned up. Um, I'll just give you a quick look-see, because I'm quite impressed with this. Well, I say impressed with it, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, now I know why these things cost a fortune, because it must cost, but look at this, this is a, a catalogue for the 502s, okay? But how posh is this? Now, obviously we all have a proper look at this, but it's very posh, isn't it? You see? Like, ooh, ah. You know, I know this is just a glorified advert. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not fooled here for a second, but I have to say, out of glossy magazines for adverts for this stuff, I have to say, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen because it is absolutely beautifully done. It's probably the most expensive advert <laughs> on the planet, okay, and all the rest of it. But this has been sent to me by AK. I have to admit it, I didn't pay for this one. They have literally sent me this in to have a play with, which is quite nice of them, because as I say, I don't ask for it. We don't do begging letters and all the rest of it. Look at that. luxury, uh, sorry, modeling luxury goods. Very posh, but how posh is that? That's just a catalog. Anyway, they sent me these. So I don't know if somebody's watching, because obviously they know we're doing that thing over there with all of this stuff. Okay, but they have sent me these. So this is quite effective. And we got some of this as well. Um, now, funny enough, <laughs> there's a story to this, Matt, our mate Matt, he said to me the other day, you know you've got that thing about 502s? I was like, yeah. He goes, oh, I've got tons of them at home. Do you want some? Because obviously Matt's got a, an online store for this. So he gave me, literally, last week, all of them. So hey, we did a, <laughs> so those have turned up. So anyway, needless to say, when we get going on the actual weathering of the uh, uh, 190, FW 190, I can see us having a bit of a play with these. Now I know Steve on the site, absolutely, this is his thing. This is where he comes into his own. If you look at any of his work, especially his Tornado, if you guys who like, you know, armor seems like a mystical black art and all the rest of it, have a look at his Tornado he's doing. So our Sanding God, as he's now known, um, has done a brilliant job on that one. And I'm hoping he's gonna take some really nice photos for us uh, and all the rest of it because just looking at it on camera, to be honest, what I see and you see is slightly different as in the quality. I tend to get a pure HD feed from him, but by the time it gets crunched and everything for doing the live streaming and on the live shows and everything else like that, it downgrades it a bit. But I've seen it in the raw format and it looks absolutely beautiful. And he swears by these things. This is what how he does it. Okay, so I've got a bag full here. I've got a set that they sent me and this magic potion for brushes. Don't know what that is. Um, anyway, a very nice book. So very thank you very much. Um, that's very nice. Oh God, and there goes the phone. Sorry, try again. You know when it's that thing, everyone knows you're going away. So everybody wants to know everything just before you go. And I thought everything was sorted. So anyway, that's those. We'll be doing lots of those pretty much um, thing. But I must admit, thank you very much AK for that. It's, um, it, it's lovely, but is it like overkill? I don't know, must be. But anyway, very, very nice. So when we come back off of holiday and we get it together, I can see us definitely doing a thing with that. So now what I'm going to do is, to be honest, I'm gonna edit up the um, Soviet SU-9U 
big seam line gash, terrible. How that made it through production is beyond me, model. Um, so that'll be up with you later on. Also, obviously the gun deck and everything is done as well, as you know now, but I'm gonna get that up. And then obviously we're gonna go, hopefully, you can tell I'm out of breath. Uh, and then what we're gonna hopefully do is have everything up on the site, ready for you by um, seven o'clock tonight. That's my plan anyway because we're gonna have a look round and everything else. And don't forget, the whole reason I'm away next week is because of Flo, uh, blame her, the bear. Because uh, obviously it is with the Snap Charity. Uh, we are going away with the kids. Uh, what I'm going to do is, you know, obviously I don't want to stick a camera under everyone's nose for the entire week of the holiday, because that's what it's all for. They're supposed to be relaxing and enjoying themselves and everything else. But I'm gonna take this camera and I'm gonna try and show you some of the kids and how great they are and why we do all of this and where your money goes and all the rest of it. Because last year it cost us 3,000 pounds to go to a water park, get everybody in there. But to see their face was absolutely gem and absolutely fantastic. Uh, and we all had a great time. And I wish I'd taken the camera because you could have seen it, okay, and everything else. But I will take it um, and I'll show you and I'll put together a little bit of a vlog. So it's not gonna be a full on thing so it's supposed to be a break and everything else like that as much as everything. Uh, but I will take the camera around, introduce you to everybody and uh, you can see the kids, where your money goes, what we do and all things like that. All right, so there we go. So that's about it. That's the end of my vlogging career up to July the 1st. I'm gonna have a break off from it now. Well, apart from next week when I'm running around with the camera. Um, so next up, get that done. Gonna do the show and uh, I'll see you then. So until later everybody, happy Molly, take care. So there you go, absolutely mad. We are now literally five past five. Um, we're almost there. Got a little bit more editing to do, a little bit of just sorting around everything. Now the site is closed. Now what does this mean? Because I had loads of people saying about it. Obviously um, some of the new guys who have joined us, uh, what happens when I'm away? Literally nothing happens for members, okay? Everything remains the same. The forum is all open. Uh, you can watch all the videos. You can post up in the forum, all the bits and pieces. The group builds, obviously you can join in with all the group builds um, and everything else like that. Nothing actually changes from that point of view. The only thing that changes now, as you will see it, the site looks slightly different because you can't buy anything, okay? And you cannot subscribe, okay? So unfortunately, because you might have problems logging in and all the rest of it, um, and there's a delay because I'm not around, um, uh, it's easy just to close it for the week, okay? So it's closed now until next Monday morning, okay? Because to be honest, I've got a few various bits and pieces we'll do over the weekend when we get back, even though we're back late on Saturday, all right? But it's gonna be totally opened up again on the Monday where you'll be able to order stuff. You can order your washers, your sanders, your bits and pieces, whatever you wanna do is fine, and you can subscribe again. Then, Anybody who's had a payment problem or subscriptions have failed, whatever, um, or cancelled your subscriptions, I will take care of it then, all right? So consequently, um, you know, you can cancel your subscription, but nothing will happen. You'll still remain subscribed because I've turned off the automatic system that does all the subscriptions, all right? So if you do get anything that comes up and says you're, you've failed payments, uh, you're cancel, your subscription's been cancelled by PayPal, don't take any notice of it whatsoever. Wait till I come back next week and I'll deal with it then. So don't hit me up with emails and various things and messages because quite frankly I probably won't answer them anyway all right um, if there's a problem on the site obviously the guys are around uh, they will be able to take care of it and obviously I'll be checking in from time to time to make sure you're all fine and behaving yourselves which I know you will and everything else all right but the idea is it's supposed to be a holiday and a break so I'll just check it you know, a couple of times a day, things like that, make sure everything's all right. But it just makes things easier, not have to worry about orders, because uh, some people don't read the thing where it says we're away, and it has happened before, before, where I've gone away, and then I get emails saying, where's my order? Well, it says everywhere we're closed for a week, but because they've ordered it, they thought they're gonna get it. All right, so now we just close it down and we are done like that. From my point of view, I've now put up the gun deck bit for the actual uh, FW190. That part is that, it's around about 45 minutes. Uh, covers everything from folding the photo edge, painting, weathering, putting it together, and all the bits and pieces like that. So that go along with the wheel section for that one. That is up on the site right now. Also, it's up on the site now. You've got the uh, review for the Mobius Batmobile. To be honest, yeah, it's a Batmobile. We'll call it like that. It's not the best, it's not the best, but it's a good start. It's a place you can start with. Uh, the other thing as well we got up there today, a little bit of a bonus as well, is we've got this guy, which is the review for the, uh, the Su 9U. It's a funny one, isn't it? Uh, 148 scale from Trumpeter. And I'm not gonna go about it here, but it's got a massive fault with it. Don't buy this kit, technically, because it's got a huge fault. And I know somebody's gonna turn around and say it's supposed to be like that, but I don't believe that for a minute. It's got a, mine anyway, has got a huge seam right down the entire length of the fuselage, where it's some part of the molding process that isn't right. It's not a mass problem, and if you're a fan of this particular aircraft, you can fix it. But if you're just buying it because, you know, that's just 
say you're one of these people who just buy kits, I'd avoid that one because it's not exactly brilliant, okay? Um, and it's unfortunate because Trumpeter recently, some of their kits have been absolutely fine, but that one, I think it's a bit of a mistake. Now, it could be it was just my kit. If it is, let me know. If yours is fine, then fair enough. But if you've got the same problem as well, let me know and perhaps we can then, I don't know, start a campaign to have them fix the problem because it's a shame because, to be honest, I do like it. it doesn't It's a horrible looking thing like that, but it, uh, from underneath, it's a MiG-21, uh, you know? So, unfortunately, it would be nice if perhaps, you know, more care was taken in the process. Uh, quality control, shall we say, things like that, because unfortunately they've missed it on that one. All right, so when we get back, obviously we're going to be pushing on heavily with absolutely everything <laughs> and catching up with, but you know, there's loads up on the site this week. We've put some bits and pieces up and everything else like that, okay? So, flow at the moment, if I just got to press that, if it will go, there we go. Flow at the moment is over with John uh, in New Jersey on her travels. And don't forget, this is what this is all about. You know, it's all about flow going off on her travels. And as we can see there, that's a nice pickup. I'm a pickup fan, as you know. Now, the thing, the funny thing is, obviously, this is the New Jersey battleship. And there we can see flow crawling literally all over her, as you can see right the way through. Now, the thing is, Flo has been on the sister ship because she was on the Missouri last year when I was over in Hawaii. Um, so when we were over there in Pearl Harbor, Flo, and I have got some photos around of her, is doing the same trip on the sister ship. So that's quite nice to see that she's been on cover two of these great battleships. Okay, uh, but as you can see, going through loads of various bits that she's been up to, going around uh, and everything else. Look, sea Sprite, always wanted to build a Sea Sprite. Um, but generally, as you can see, had an absolutely fantastic time. Thank you very much, John. Don't forget, guys, this is what Flo is all about, going around the world. You know, she's going around, look, I don't know, playing a gooseberry. That's a lovely shot as well. I do love that shot. Beautiful. Got one very similar, for the say, from the Missouri. Um, but yeah, it's all about the kids, you know, um, and basically we raise money to help them to do these great trips that I'm involved with uh, and all the rest of it like that. And it's all down to your kind donations, guys, that make it all happen. Last year, we raised over £3,000 for them. And every year, we've raised a couple of grand from every year. And as we know, it's a bit tight these days for them to get in there. Uh, but it's, uh, it's doing very well. And you see Flo, I think the photos go back again. Been having a nice time. It's nice to see Flo in your man caves because so I'm going to do a montage of all the pictures as it comes together, just like that. Anyway, that is about it for me. As I say, busy weeks. I'm trying to put plenty with you and everything else. And what with the roofers going away and everything else that's been going on, it has been absolute chaos. But there we go. So don't forget, you've got your group builds starting. So tomorrow on the 2nd, you've actually got the Big in Japan one, which is huge. And I know it's going to be our biggest one today. It's going to be absolutely massive. Okay, so don't forget, you've got six months. You don't have to start now. You can start any time between now and the last day. Okay, if you can build a kit in the last day. Um, and you're going to go through. As soon as I get back, I will sort out all the medals and everything else like that okay Kane is doing a reveal video for us yes I've got out of that one <laughs> now he knows he think he's regretting it now but he's doing a great job on that I know some of you in the forum have helped him out with that as well about getting the photos and names and everything lined up for him it is a big help trust me it's like a day's work for me to put that thing together um, I almost got everybody's name what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it just for the minute I've only think I'm missing now three of you um, to actually get the medals out for the last group build that was actually completed okay but as soon as I get back if I haven't had them by then I'll message you personally again to try and get your addresses so we can get your medals out for you a couple of you guys have said look I'm not worthy of a medal trust me if you've been hit up for it and you're in the listing you're worthy of it as I said the only thing I was saying it's nice to have nice good quality um, you know builds so people can be inspired that's the whole point of a group build is where even later on years gone by you know people can go back and reference your build and they can follow you like you follow me doing video builds they can follow a photo build all the way through to see what paints you've used what techniques you've used you know and how you did various bits and pieces it's all about inspiring people to follow in your footsteps that's why I do this it's not to teach you how to model because you know I don't like doing that it's to inspire you to think oh he's done it that way perhaps I'll give that a whirl perhaps it never worked for me I'm going to do it a different way it's just about inspiration guys and that's what this hobby is all about is to inspire you know us youngsters each other to do better to build better and hopefully keep this great hobby of ours going along for many many years to come 
So that's it from me. I'm going to leave you with your great work that you've been doing over the course of the week and I'm going to catch you in over a week's time. I'll be back on the 11th, okay? I'm going to have a great time with Snap. Have lots of fun, guys. Behave yourselves in the forum. Otherwise, I'll set Steve on you. Sandy Steve will be after you and Hans, okay? But I know you'd be great. Anyway, have a great time. I'm going to have a great time and I'll catch you all on the 11th.